Um, I start um, a short report on two things uh, where I participated uh, yesterday, and that is the Knowledge Sharing Infrastructure Committee and a very short report on the usability workshop because many people showed interest in that as well. Um, so, here we are. Um, the knowledge sharing uh, is, uh, um, is, is, uh, is an activity which is important for Clarin and more and more so besides the technical development of, what, of which we heard a lot, but also to share the knowledge, the expertise among Clarin, but also to the outside, outside world. Uh, and we had a, 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 a meeting of the committee who is taking care of this. And most of the stuff that we dealt with at this committee meeting was internal matters. So who is actually now participating in this committee? Because we had some changes. Uh, what are the procedures for becoming a uh, Clarin K Center and for the mobility grants, which is what this committee takes care of. So I don't bother you with those details. But um, we also discussed a little bit of the strategy. And uh, we agreed, actually, we already agreed last year, but we didn't really do it so far, that we will have a more proactive or perhaps even aggressive strategy of uh, recruiting new knowledge centers. Because we know that there are many centers present here and in the Clarion community who have the character and the profile of already being a knowledge center. The only thing which is missing is writing a two or three page um, uh, letter explaining why you are a knowledge center and then be recognized as such. So we want, uh, we, we will approach you and ask you uh, if you would uh, like to do that and to be included as a knowledge center. B centers and C centers can also at the same time be knowledge centers, so K or L centers. Um, also, we discussed how we could make the knowledge sharing infrastructure more visible on the website, and we will give you an update on that. Um, right now, for, you, for, for, the, for those who don't know, currently we have six knowledge centers. Three of them are distributed, so several partners combine their forces and say, together, we have the knowledge and expertise, for instance, about the languages of Spain, we have three partners, or about tree banking, there are two partners, but a third is actually planning to join that a knowledge center soon. Uh, the Danish Help Deck, De Desk is another knowledge center. And we have several mono uh, site knowledge center. The Phonogranarchiv in Vienna is about uh, speech and, and audio uh, data and so forth. Um, the Speech Analysis Center in Sweden and the Language Learning Analysis Center in the USA, which happens to be also a B center at Carnegie Mellon. Um, these are the six which are already recognized and certified, and five are on the way, most of them quite advanced, so in the next weeks we will have um, several editions. And of these five, four are of Sweden. And I would really like to say my warmest thanks and to all of you, take an example of uh, Sweden here, because Sweden really decided we join Clarin and we would like to have all our centers also be recognized as Clarin centers. And every second month or so, we get a new application for Clarin center status from Sweden. So I hope that we in the future will not only have eight Swedish knowledge centers and one of each other country, but actually more of several other countries as well. Um, the other thing that I wanted to report very briefly on is the usability workshop. That is a workshop which also happened within this Clarion Plus project. So it's not yet a, a permanent thing, but it might turn into something like that. It was a very busy workshop with 15 participants yesterday. And we decided or discussed criteria how we can evaluate uh, usability. And there is a questionnaire, a preliminary version out there. And so we will, uh, we, we still accept it. it's on the website quite prominently on, on each side, on the right side, you can do the questionnaire. As I just say, we also are testing scenarios and doing interviews here. So please participate in the breaks. And we got a lot of feedback, especially on the Clarion website. Many things still have to be done. Other things have still to be decided. So we are very grateful for that input. And yeah, we will work on the details of this. So that was my very short report on these two initiatives. Thank you.